everybody, and welcome to Veterans Corner. Special guest today, special guest today, uh, we have Russell Allison, whose grandson is on the camera. As I said to you earlier, Russell, you'll be in the picture all day long. I will be very little about it. <laughs> He'll take care of you. But we're glad to have you. We're very proud of people who have served our country in, in all the wars, not just the Second World War or the First World War, but all the wars and all the conflicts that this nation has become the big brother to everybody around the world. And it's a very costly operation, not only of lives, but money and just morale. So today is a little different ballgame. You're a Navy veteran? Yes, I am. And you've served on the Midway, the Crosby you like with the hat, which is the better of the ships, you said. And uh, there's another ship that uh, was talking about, was it the Kepler? Kepler? What was that? The Ke Ke Kepler? Oh, I just, I went overseas in that ship. And, okay. And they had it, they had it uh, on the uh, thing. So actually you transported overseas on the Kepler? Yeah. Period. And then you joined up. Now, where did you, where was your home base in this country when you were first went in the Navy? When I first went in the Navy, uh, I don't know what it was because uh, we, we got, went up to, uh, no, up in New York, way, way up in New York for boot camp. Okay. And uh, then when we got to a boot camp, we come back to New York and they took us down to the Bronx, put us on another APD, a, a brand new one. Uh -huh. And we went all the way up, right through the Pan Panama Canal. Okay. And uh, we, when we got up, up there at the other side, they found a, a place for us. Okay. And then we were out, out of, working out of that base. All right, then you while. finally got on a ship and went out, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, now you, the, the, the experience is, the Midway is a famous name, not only of the island, but also of the ship and action that it saw. Am I right? Yeah. I did see a lot of action. What, the Midway? Midway, yeah. The one that I was on? Yeah. No. No, it didn't. No. The, uh, it was just well, named after at, at the time, but since then, the Midway did, after I was all done with it, it was uh, gone, gone all over the world. Okay. different places, but uh, it's just like the big name he is in Fall River down in San Diego. And my son, one of, one of my sons, told me about it. So we went out there and uh, I was on it. Okay. Just as a passenger. Yeah, all right. But they let me go because I was a, a, a plank owner of the Midway. That's meaning what the plank owner is a like? A plank owner was, uh, there before anything that I got to sea. I got it. So you were the one original on a ship as a plank owner yeah. before the ship got to sea. Yeah. Uh, so like a pot owner. Yeah, pot yeah. owner. <laughs> so I got on, and then I, I got cousins up there, you know, in New York, like in California. And yeah. So they all come, come on. There was about seven or eight of us all went on. Didn't have to pay a nickel. This would be in San Diego in a museum that was dedicated yeah, to the Yeah, it's right near the, where the museum is. Okay. On the waterfront. All right. Have they restored it? They fixed it up and I mean, uh, have they- The Midway? Have, uh, yeah, Midway. They uh, fixed that it. was a brand new ship. Okay, so it was not a problem. That was first time out. Not they, like the down here, or where we're down here, they're fighting to get, keep restoration in the battleship. Cold, yeah. Trying yeah. to get the ship so they won't sink. Now, in, in, in all your time in the service, did you see action all over the world? Did we mostly, was it mostly in the Pacific? Just all the way up. We went from, uh, when we picked up the new ship, we went all the way up on different dates. And uh, once, every time there was a place, and we were carrying, we were carrying uh, the ones that are flying, you know, coming down from the sky but they had to stop doing that fly off in the Pacific because they were going in the water and right down. Would they wouldn't come up. Oh, so they had to go in by land. Okay. So that's what we were doing, bringing them in. Okay. We had four, four sh uh, boats taken in. Well, would this be planes that were shot down or just planes that... Uh, no, we'd be, when we were going for bringing troops out. Oh, I got it. We, okay. we, we had our troops, a lot of troops. Okay. Different times. Now this, in that, mostly we were supplying troops 
as a carrier, a ship who's a carrier for troops in the South Pacific, am I right? Yeah. You know, so you would be going to the islands of uh, Midway, or whatever, in those islands. Yeah, we'd hit them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you would shell those islands? What? Would you pump, shoot shells at those islands from the ship? From us? Yeah. Not too much, because then we'd go out again when we dropped the, the, uh, the new guys going in. Yeah. And uh, we'd have to circle all around watching for the, the, them others. Other, yeah. like, uh, Japs, Japanese coming in on us. Yeah. Uh, so we lost one of our APDs and one of them midway, not midway, but I forget, I forget the names of I the know. places now. Yeah, well, there was yeah. a lot of them in that conflict. There was a lot of islands in that conflict yeah. that we were dropping off. Yeah, we, uh, we, we go in there, and uh, then the ship that we lost got bombed by a, a, and they couldn't do nothing. To, they, so they... Uh, the Japanese bombed them. The bombed, yeah. And so we were ordered to uh, sink the ship after, the, after they cleared it off. Okay. And we got everybody off the ship and dropped it right there. Didn't hit no more. And there, out of that, there was one casualty for, for, from our ship. Yeah. And they were happy to get back. For sure. Yeah. So when, uh, but the Japanese were, Pearl Harbor was like, um, uh, well, a tragedy to the United States, but it was a mistake on the Japanese part by not following up because they had really hurt the Navy big time, our Navy big time. Yeah. At that time, it never followed up. And they kind of stayed back. And they, mm. they woke up the sleeping tiger, which they learned later on in life what that oh, tiger, yeah. who that tiger was. You mm. and everybody with you. The, um, did you ever get stationed after it? Did you, when the war, were you still in the Navy when the war was, it was still on? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. You, you get out. You I went up as far as Okinawa twice. Bringing troops the second time. The first time, they wanted troops going on, mm -hmm. and then we went. The second time we come up, we got that. And then we were told to come back to the base. Okay, so you were transporting troops all over the islands in the Pacific. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't have any damage to the ship you were on. Ours? Yeah. Uh, no, no. We we didn't have any. Any damage? Nobody, no, the Japs never bombed your ship? Oh, they tried that get us twice. Yeah. And uh, I hit a plane coming in once, and it came right in. They never fired against us. No, no bombs come down, just the, the plane. Just look and see where you are. Yeah. yeah. And then when, we, when, it, when, it, when it hit the water, that was it. Never popped up no more. Okay. So. Now, how old were you, may I ask, Russell? Is that when I went into the service, yeah. 17. 17. And I, how quit, I quit high school. Okay. Or junior high school. Okay. How, lo how long did you serve? Uh, I'd say about four years, five years. Five years. Four, something like that. So you went in a young man, you got out a young man. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. And what memories stick in your head more than any of them? What, what was the times you think about all the time? Uh, during that five or six years? What do you think about the most, about that action? Do you think about that action at all? Yeah, a lot of times, especially at nighttime. Okay. I okay. think about it. Yeah. And uh, things that we've done and things, uh, what you did on the ship. Mm -hmm. You had to make your own amusements on the ship. Yeah. So, so. And movies, you have movies? Well, what is yeah, it? we had our movies. Somebody always said, bring matches, because everybody's got cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, an, it's interesting. The Pacific, to me, was always a fascinating part about the European theater. I, mean, I was in Germany when I was a soldier, but yeah. the, the, the Pacific was always a fascinating thing about it, because you had uh, one of the Asian countries, Japan, actually brutalizing China, the Philippines, Korea, mm -hmm. and I, that didn't help their cause as we look at it today. Yeah. And uh, J Japan is trying to de uh, re re tool its uh, armies and so on and so forth. So it's it's a long history when you start thinking about it. Yeah. you actually been there mm -hmm. and know exactly what you yeah. had to go through with that uh, with that type of thinking. And they were um, 
They were dying for the emperor. So oh, they they're all suicide uh, missions to go with them, which is, I think, is happening today in, in uh, the Muslim countries. They don't care about the human life, so it's very difficult. So. Now, what is anything particular that sticks out in your mind about, the, about your time in the Navy or in the service or friends or? Well, we have, we had uh, in San Diego, San Francisco, we had a, a, a fellow on the ship that with us. He was a Mexican. And I, I, I told him, uh, you're from, you know, a, a country where they have horses and all that. He says, yeah. I says, I'll bet you I could show you how to ride whole horses. He did? <laughs> yeah, they were fooling. And yeah. when we got in San Diego, we got some bikes, uh, I mean, uh, horses. He did. We, we bought, went and uh, took some out, but he could ride. I oh. didn't. Okay. I, I mean, I could ride because I was riding around here before I went in the Navy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he was a good for a rider. Yeah. Now, he served all with you on the ship, the Mexican boy? What? The Mexican boy stayed with you on the ship. He served with you. Was that it? Yeah. 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 He was a nice guy. And last time I met him, he gave me some money to come home with. I didn't have enough money to get a home, oh. and uh, the ship, the, uh, the, sh the we were, they were demolishing the ship. They didn't, they didn't bring it in and fix it up. They just broke it all down after, so we had no place to go. I, I got to leave for 30 days. Uh -huh. And no money. Uh, well, I had a, a few yeah. bucks, yeah, but, but not enough to get home. Yeah. So he gave me the money. Never heard from him for no more. And my father asked me about it. He said, did you have enough money? I said, no, I had to wear. So he, said, he, got, a, he got a check out, and he filled it out and sent that to him. But he never said nothing after that. But no, no. So you ever heard from him? No. Did he get the check, do you know? I guess so. But yeah, yeah. But he was a, he was a nice guy, a real nice sure guy. Sure was. Sure was. Mm. Nothing like a friend when you're in the service. Yeah. Nothing like a friend, you know? It's a big world when you're in the service. Yes. Now, what else have you? What else have you say that you're transported in your, in your time in the service? You your ship transported military people to land on these islands. Yeah. Uh, as reinforcements to these <clears throat> islands, and uh, and then when you had to relieve them, you ever take them out and bring some new ones in? Oh, we, we, no, just taking them in. Just bringing them when, in when they whenever they needed anybody. All right. In the Air Force, and you used to not have to pound it. You didn't have to with your shells, your big guns. You didn't have to pound the shores very seldom. Yeah. Just watch for the Japs yeah. flying over the top. Yeah, that's amazing, amazing. Considering that they that uh, they were starting to get walloped Japs in the islands, yeah. and that they they would use in a suicide to try to get the ships yeah. like your ship out of out of play, so they mm -hmm. couldn't bring any more in. That's, you know, yeah. but uh, amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you think about things at night. What do you really think about? Think about times in the service, people you met? Yeah. Yeah. Incidents? Wondering how people were. Yeah. I, yeah. Learned, I learned to dance while I was out there. Did you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Going to USO. Oh, we come okay. back from overseas. Uh-huh. And, and met some nice people. I'll bet. I'll in bet. fact, I was young and... Uh, Wait, 20, were you 20s? In your 20s, right? 17 when you went in, yeah. 24 when you get out. Yeah, so uh, when we got back into the United States, we went to the USO, and as I was going in, some some man come up to me, we worked there, and he says to me, are, are you here to have, you know, a good time tonight or what? I says, yeah, we haven't been any place yet. He says to me, I got a, a job. A little job, he says, uh, would, would you want to take this girl to uh, her prom? It was, uh, it was a time to her, uh, her, her boyfriend that she had is overseas. He just went overseas. So I took her, and her, uh, her, her father was either the chief of police or the chief of the fire department. I forget one of, one of the two. One of the two. And You're they, on your best behavior. Yeah, and they took me, you know, a couple of times I'd go up there and 
we'd go out. There were the family, you know. They were yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah. So where'd you get your dancing lessons? Was there? No. A after that, in another place we went, we started dancing because it was a good thing to do. Sure. Sure. So, sure. And me and her danced up until a couple of years ago. All right. <laughs> we quit. Yeah. Now, well, it's it's a great pastime and it, it, uh, it's active. It's mm -hmm. an active thing. Now, where did you dance here? Uh, a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, Lincoln Park. Okay. Or and uh, Providence and some of them places. Oh yeah. 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 That, that, well, like I said, you quit a couple of years yeah. ago. Yeah. So you were both dancers, right? You both got to be professional, no? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no just I good had, at it. After I had a couple of beers, I said, I think I'm <laughs> as good as any of these guys dancing. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. The um, um, great times. And, you know, when you look at today's times, Russell, when you think of all of the young men and young women that, that, that have served this nation everywhere yeah. over a long period of time, and we constantly are always being dragged into some type of a conflict. And, you know, uh, it changes, the, 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 the weapons change, the life expectancy changes. Uh, it's difficult, it's difficult. Uh, but yeah. people still serve. It's a volunteer army. And nobody really dreamed drafted. They're still serving this country. And it's the greatest country on earth. Yeah. And you provided it to stay the way it is. Uh, a lot of people like you. and. Uh, we appreciate that, this show. Appreciate someone like you coming to his wrestle and yeah. telling the audience exactly, you know, the human part of it as well as the, the military part of it. Because it is a it is a it is a journey that you take and you'll never forget. Yeah. You'll never forget. I uh, I remember one thing. I've done this before on Veterans Corners when I was uh, 22 years of age. I was um, in the, the tank outfit um, and I was. By, by big carrier ship, troop transport ship, uh, trans transferred to Bremerhaven in Germany. And then the Berlin Wall was up and the Russians had a section of it you had to go through by train uh, with, your, with your tanks and everything else. But the one thing I remember the most is when we unloaded the tanks and the tracks, we, we were in a mortar track. We went up a, a, a steep street, which is all cobblestones in Germany, and the people were behind the curtains in their house, we were occupiers. Yeah. And we went up that street with the tanks with that ungodly noise of a, of a, of a track, you know, hitting a, the hitting a thing. And I said to myself, what must they feel like, those people, as we come to their country? Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're um, occupiers, although we had to do what we had to do. And I always think of that, once in a while in my sleep, I, I come back over that scene when I was 22 years of age, yeah. and I go up that hill, and I look at that with the people behind the drapes, little kids and so on, and say to myself, geez, we start thinking about it. We were the big brother of the world, all of us. Yeah. <coughs> oh, anything you want to add to me, Russ? Anything we want to talk about? Mm -hmm. I know they're all watching you, you know. I don't yeah. want to get you in the, you know, not just, not just the crowd back of that screen, yeah. the people. We, uh, we have a, we created this thing uh, called Veterans Corner. This is a mock, uh, your, your grandsons. Um, he put that together today, just for Veterans Corner. And we brought a, a series of pictures in back of you, which reaches out to many of the different branches, or tries to reach out to many of the different branches. There's, you know, the, 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 on land, on sea, and in the air, uh, all these kind of things. These are scenes that were taken from the library that we, we had reproduced at uh, Re Diamond Regional School and ran them up on these flats so that we could want to do Veterans Corner. So we do quite a bit of Veterans Corner that we can. Yeah. But, you know, we appreciate somebody like you coming on and telling us about your past and, and a lot of people out there, uh, our age, your age, will start to remember some of those things. Yeah. You know, the, um, a, um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Mm. I don't talk too much. I'm, okay. Because I can't. I can't express to myself, or I start to tell something, and then it goes blank. So yeah. I gotta wait, wait. Okay. But right. I'd like to talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to reach into the fact is that your uh, your family's well, and where do you live here now, Russ? 
Uh, four of them? Uh, Somerset? Somerset. Somerset, okay. Down on the vessel. Do you know where the water works are? Uh, oh, yeah, they're yeah. over there. They're the, uh, yeah. Yeah, right, right off down. Okay, so you were you know, there in, that, in, that, in that, that new place they built, which is right, what's that called? I can't think of it. But uh, it, that's new housing, isn't it? Like a nice housing. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I can't think of it. Jesus. North Farms. North Farms, yeah. Okay. And that's such an easy word. Yeah. North Farms. <laughs> I couldn't remember it. <laughs> I forget everything. Now, now, do you guys, do you, you get together and go out someplace and... You don't go dancing anymore. You told me you're no, off the dancing. No. I've tried a couple of times and slipping, you know, and yeah. says, no, we better knock it off. <laughs> I got my brother. He was never a dancer. You got He's in, in, a, in a home out in Florida. And uh, every time, and once in a while, they bring people in, entertainment. And he says, all the women grab me. I'm the only man there. <laughs> 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 I said, see, you should have taken more the dancing. Lesson, the yeah. dancing lesson, yeah. yeah. So I told him, you'll be going up there and getting dancing shoes next. He said, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I think of the, the, today the government fooled around with the, uh, the, the veterans' homes and the service, <clears throat> or the lack of service, if you will, uh, yeah. the veterans that come back from all of these uh, wars. Because you know that, uh, as I said, the weaponry is in, not increased violently, but... It uh, maims a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And, yeah. and so we have really stacked our hospitals, or our VA's hospitals, with a lot of wounded heroes and veterans who've served in all of the wars. Yeah. Uh, and um, the government's responsibility, uh, which it's not taking, is to you know, see that these people are made whole as possible for what they've done. They've gone from, from, any, from the farms, from the, from the streets, from the businesses, and gone and served their country. They come back. Uh, they're crippled and what have you. It's the responsibility of the government yeah. who sent them there to, to respond to that. And they're trying to undertake this now. I would hope that they do a faster job uh, yeah. for, the, for the sake of the veterans. The people have lost everything, uh, including parts of their body and their mind mm -hmm. uh, in, in these conflicts, which are brutal. So it's that, that's ongoing in government, which is tragic, but it does. So, so for the veterans that served all of the wars, I take my hat off to them. Yeah, uh, you know, for what they went through and what they returned to, you know, because it's not, it's not fun, as you know. You were 17 when you get into service, right? You left school, you served your country, you traveled all over the world, mm -hmm. mostly in the South Pacific, yeah. mostly transporting young men like and yourself. My, my father met my brother up in Okinawa. Really? Yeah. And I was there at the same time, but I didn't know his ship was there. I see. And my brother and him. So there. your father was a sailor as well. What? Your father was a Navy man as well. Uh, uh, yeah. And your brother was a Navy man. Yep. Everybody's in the Navy. Yeah. And I had a, an uncle on the s same street. Yeah. He was a, 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 a we fixed cars. We were okay. from Pontiac for a long time. Okay. And now you're a mechanic too, aren't you? I was. But, yeah. No, I can't do nothing. No. Well, nothing at all. Yeah. I've had two new cars in the last few, quite a few years, and I couldn't find a, the battery in both of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say it because I, I like to work on cars. Yeah, yeah. But, but now they're not working on cars now, most of them. No, they, they actually want it, they want to, they want the, the car to, boom, early, so they can give you another one. Yeah. And get the price up there so they're making <clears> the money on it. The old cars that you used to deal with. Yeah. The ones that you could repair lasted a lifetime. Mm. Maybe it wasn't fashionable, yeah. maybe it wasn't it, but it lasted a lifetime because it had parts. But we're making, we, we buy more Japanese, Korean yeah. cars than American cars at this point. You know? I gotta wipe my eyes. My eyes are on like that. Okay. Take your time. I gotta carry two handkerchiefs all the time. Do you? Your Jeez. eyes run? Oh, yeah, my eyes, my nose, everything. Okay. Everything's blowing up the way. <laughs> yeah, for all of us, I'm almost right there with you. I'm right back here. I'm not, I'm, I'm not far away, believe me, Russell. Mm -hmm. Age-wise, I'm not far away. We, uh, well, first of all, I think we, uh, is there anything you wanna add to me? Anything at all you wanna talk about? 
No, I've, I'm about talked out. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll um, we'll wind it up then. Veterans Corner is brought to you for this by the by SATV uh, in Somerset. It has a lot of depth to it because it has a lot of great people who come before these cameras to talk about where they've been, where they spent their life, and how they dedicated their lives to this country. So that we could be free and be able to do what we're doing now and be able to broadcast you know, shows like this with people like Russell. A Navy veteran, 17 years old, went and served up to 24 years of age in the Pacific, transporting troops to the islands that we were trying to capture from the Japanese. It's a long history of the Navy and what the Navy did, which was visceral. It wasn't just sitting at, uh, at victory at sea. It was also that tough grind of getting close to the shore and transporting our boys and our girls into those islands so that we could have been take back <coughs> what was taken away from us at Pearl Harbor. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching and take this opportunity to thank, thank Russell well, for coming thank on the you. show. Thank you. Show. And we thank him. Hold it right there, Russell. Oh. We're going to wait a minute. So we're going to say so long from uh, Veterans Corner, and we thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show.